Welcome back to Switch Corner. Today it's time for our 10 deals under $10 or of course your local currency. In this one we're covering eShops for the US, Canada, UK, Europe and Australia. This video though it does drop every single Thursday and then on Saturdays we do an alternate version where basically any price goes and it gets a whole lot more expensive. With that though like hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family especially if you love like refused deals, hidden gems will for sure have you covered for that and yeah there's some amazing games this week so let's get started So as always you do want to be checking the upper left corner to see if it's going to be available in your region. Starting things off this week though we've got Not Tonight Take Back Control Edition coming in with a massive 90% off. I noticed that my review video it started to kind of get a lot of like attention over this last couple of days and that's when I realized what was happening. This game though at this price absolutely worth it. It is set in the UK and it's following a version of the country after Brexit has taken in place and things have clearly you know deteriorated you're taking on the role of an immigrant though even though you were actually born and raised in England it's just like your family history it got you squarely in the sights of the government the idea though here it's really one thing earn enough cash to survive to do this you'll find yourself working as a bouncer checking IDs things like looking at the expiry date but it gets a whole lot more complicated if you've played papers please you'll for sure see a lot of similarities here but if you're even remotely interested in this game I'd say check out my review or any other review it's a tough one to basically sum up in a paragraph it is a great game though it's an acquired taste but I gotta say it's interesting to see a politically motivated game that's not scared to make a statement so fair play to the devs here so next up then the escapist 2 coming in from team 17 this one's a top-down prison escape simulator with quite a bit of personality to really like round out the package with 70 percent off though this is the lowest price we've ever seen and in my opinion an absolute steal you'll be basically creating your own prisoner and then working out how to escape from 10 different prisons what's most unique about this one it's the sense of freedom there's literally tons of ways you can escape and it's completely up to you to figure out what your you know your route will be it's not always easy but i love this one especially in handheld it even has local two-player co-op an online four-player co-op and versus great little game this one and a ton of content for the price they've even discounted a whole lot of like dlc packs if you want to look into them too all right, it's so a super cheap time now. Membrane coming in at a price that most of you will no doubt be able to afford with probably like the gold coins you get, you know, every time you make a purchase, we get them on the eShop. 99% off though, and it does discount relatively frequently, but for those that haven't took the dive yet, this is more than worth the price. I mean, honestly, I'd recommend this one at the full price tag. It's basically a physics-based puzzle game though with a really trippy storyline and a decent amount of content as well. There's 45 levels and there's bonus gameplay modes too. The gameplay here though, it's just so unique. It's almost like a take on the bridge building genre. But yeah, you definitely won't regret, you know, buying this one. Visuals, they're not going to be to everyone's taste, but they actually work when given, you know, the context of the game, your progression and that kind of weird, trippy story path. So next up then, while we are on puzzle games that are difficult to explain in less than like a minute, I give you Mugsters. The idea is this, aliens have taken over the planet and enslaved humanity. You must save them and in turn like save the world. This is another one from Team 17 though, who are typically I'd say pretty reliable for quality content. 90% off though as discounts go here, for this one it is pretty huge. Mugsters though, it's an isometric puzzler where you'll basically be running around, jumping in vehicles and using inventory items to basically work out puzzles that inhabit each of these like individual sandbox levels. The only weird thing with Mugsters, and I feel like it's pretty famous for it at this point, there's a serious like lack of music so you may want to line up Spotify when you're playing this one because it can feel a little bit like weird and empty. Not a perfect game honestly, but you'll easily get your money's worth at this price point. So next up then I quickly want to recap three games we've spoken about in the last like couple of months that so many of you said in the comments you missed and you wish 
you had picked up. Fortunately though, all three of these, they're back with their lowest price ever, or at least, you know, matching that previous low. First up, we've got Raiden 5, an exceptional shmup that if you're a fan of the genre, absolutely must be played. I've heard a few people say the screen can be a little bit busy at times, and I do agree, it's for sure true, but the core gameplay is incredible, and this is well worth like an add to your library if you want something that's basically gonna kick your ass over and over again. 70% off though too, it's a great discount and I doubt we're going to see it get much better than that. Second then, Mextermination Force coming from Horberg Productions. They made the incredible Gunman Clive and then followed it up with this just fantastic boss rush entry that probably is only beaten in quality by maybe Cuphead and Fury. But what a game it is, especially with 50% off. Stunning visuals, great gameplay and who doesn't want to take down like mechs that fill the entire screen. Last for this repeat section then we've got Darkwood with a new all time low price and what a game it is. Well worth this price of admission and now a must buy with 55% off. It's a top down horror experience that proves the retro pixel vibe can be absolutely terrifying as you set out into like the forest of Darkwood and just try to survive. Where this one for me excels though it's no like jump scares instead they're relying on something much creepier that's constant dread and tension. With Darkwood, I'll tell you two things though. You're going to die a lot and try not to go out at night time. It's a bad, bad idea. I'm a huge fan of this one and I highly recommend it. So my pickups of the week then, every week I do this same thing. It's what I'm spending my cash on, meaning I can't really recommend them. Never actually played them or haven't played much, but maybe you'll want to join me for the ride. Got two for you this week and the first one, it's Do Not Feed The Monkeys. I played a decent chunk of this already at release, but I'm finally picking it up for myself. The idea here is it's, you're a member of the Primate Observation Club. Your role is to observe different people and then you basically dictate how their life will look you know will you help them or will you basically sabotage them the only rule here in this like club you can't interact with them but that's actually going to be up to you if you follow this rule with 30 percent off though and solid reviews out there i gotta say it seems like a good deal to me then the stillness of the world reviews for this one they're a little bit more middling with some good and some yeah not so good i've always liked the look of this one though the visuals just look stunning to me and i'm very much judging a book by its cover here but the promise of a narrative driven experience that's pretty much enough to get me to pull my credit card out. I'm excited to check this one out though. I would say either check out Refuse first though, or at least go in expecting a slow burner set around the theme of life and loss. 65% off though, that was enough for me. So you gotta act quick with these next two because they do expire in the next couple of days, but Guacamelee 1 and 2, both are offering 70% off, but the second is still just a little bit more expensive than that first. Either way though, great deal. They have, I will say, been slightly cheaper before, but it's been a while since I've seen them, and I think these games are amazing for those of you out there who like, you know, Metroidvania style games. I ended up double dipping myself with these though, I ended up grabbing a dual pack uh, physical release. In the first game though, you'll be saving El Presidente's daughter, and in the second you'll be saving your village from imminent destruction. It's a very stylized game with ultra responsive controls and a decent challenge. At this price, I'd honestly pick them both up, it's well worth it, and you're easily going to get probably, I'd say maybe like a combined 15 hours of gameplay just doing the bare minimum. So our penultimate game of the week then, and this is a big one, Crypt of the Necrodancer, an incredible game that should be in everyone's library, I have no doubt about that. Coming in with 80% off, this dungeon crawler is absolutely incredible. The story you control Cadence, who is on the hunt for her missing father. With reasons though here to repeat the gameplay, thanks to multiple story paths and storylines, you'll actually see more and more of the ending, I really like that. Also though, the gameplay is enough to make you go back, it's just a weird combination. It's melding rhythm action gameplay which kind of dictates your movement and attacks, you've got to do it to the beat of the music, with then roguelike dungeon crawling. It was so well received though it even got a sequel that featured the caster Zelda that goes by the name of Cadence of Hyrule. That tells you enough 
just how good this is. Just buy it now if you don't own it already. So our last game of the week then, not quite as special as Crypt honestly, but still a great one and this is Butcher. The reason I'm putting this one last is the developer's next game actually comes out next week. It's the amazing looking Carrion being published by Devolver Digital. And I can't wait to try that one. It's basically like a reverse horror game where you play as the monster. If this game was good enough to persuade Devolver to pick up his next game, then that's more than enough reasoning for me to put it in as the closing to this list. Here, expect a 2D shooter basically with a ton of gore. It's not smart, but it is a lot of fun as you basically just take down waves of enemies as a cyborg. This one, it's just basically an adrenaline rush. The pixel art is stunning. And of course it has a kick-ass soundtrack to match it all. I played it originally on the Vita and this price now, well worth it at 70% off. I think I paid like maybe 10 times this. And that's it, another week down. Will you be adding anything to your collection this week or will you be giving that bank account, you know, a little rest? Let me know in the comments below. And then a quick shout out, of course, to the patrons of the channel who have been kind enough to, yeah, give us that extra support. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you do wanna check that out for yourself, I have linked it in the description below. Also then, of course, if you are new here as well, hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do. Join our growing family. I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.